just when you thought you were going to get rid of me. So um, I'm here today to present the Dan Tack Memorial Award. Um, and before I do that, I, you really have to quantify why the Dan Tack Award. Um, if you're from here, it doesn't, it, doesn't even, uh, it doesn't even need to be quantified. But for those folks that are coming in, um, Dan Tack is the ultimate representation of the old dog learning a new trick. Um, he fished with my grandfather until he passed, then with my dad until he passed, and then with me until he passed. Um, and Dan was a huge supporter of every single not-for-profit in this basin. There's not one person here attached to a not-for-profit that can't point a finger to something that Dan Tack did. But one of the things that he also realized very early on in my childhood was that some things are just too important for just one person to take. And Muskie was a big favorite of his. So we came up with the Dan Tack Memorial Award in a way of memorializing uh, Dan's take on our Muskie population, um, but to also kind of resurrect the fact that we used to have a tournament. Back in the 60s and the 70s, you used to see a white flag coming into French Creek Bay go to O'Brien's or to the Hubbard House or the Herald House or to Bertrand's Motel. The T.I. Sun would be there to take a picture of a fish that was hanging and that fish's story ended there. He'd be in the paper the next week. After those tournaments kind of fell out of popularity in the 80s when people started to realize that this was a species that was so important it could not and should not be caught just one time, um, there was a dormant period where there was no way to really flag other than the ringer prints, which were amazing. Um, but to actually have something physical and tangible except for you know the fiberglass mount on the, on the wall. So we started at Save the River with the approval of Dan Tack. We did it before he passed away, um, having this annual contest. And the thing that really makes this a lot neater than just Jeff's opinion the bass tournaments and all the other tournaments that we have is folks, oh, there we go. Uh, folks like uh, this year's winner, Austin Demarest, who you ask what guide he was with, guess what? He wasn't with a guide. The average guy doing the average thing for the right amount of time can still catch the biggest fish we have in the area all on his own. You're not gonna see some guy in a John boat win the Bassmasters. But every time I see somebody that wins something like this, it just validates how valuable a resource this is. So um, every year I'm going to give you another brief of this is what Dan Tack stood for because it also signifies what we should all stand for. And uh, although Austin couldn't be with us, he'll get this plaque. And if you'd like to see the hard marker over at Save the River, we have a beautiful, beautiful plaque that signifies each year's winner. And uh, someday my name might get on that thing, I don't know. <laughs> so congratulations to Austin Demerit, this year's winner, 54 and a half inch musky. Safe release. Really, really.